Hey, good morning, everybody. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. It is Tuesday, December 8th, so definitely good morning to you. God bless you today. Hope you have a great day today. Uh, we actually will be seeing temperatures 15 to 25 degrees above average in some places, especially in the southeast in a few days. But it will be short-lived. Uh, however, there, there is an area of low pressure that will undergo a Lee cyclogenesis. Uh, it's when a disturbance becomes a surface cyclone, which is going to happen over the central U.S. And then by addition of positive cyclonic, which is the vorticity that's going to be caused by this weather, uh, it's going to be descent down all the way to the lee side of the mountain range. So that's what a lee cyclogenesis is, when it goes all the way down to the lee side of the, of the mountains. So this is what you're going to see pretty much is going to be about a flip-flop. Uh, the cold temperatures that you see on the west side is going to go to the east side of the country. And that's going to bring uh, multiple storms. Not only this next one coming up, I'm showing the one after next will be even uh, worse, even colder, even more snow. Now, as we go through the models, I have the Euro model here. So you can see the two meters of temperatures that we're going to be having. And you can see the temperatures that we have for today. It's not too great. Uh, Louisiana, Texas, y'all still going to be in the warm but this warm weather is going to move to the southeast as you go along. Now, as we go into Wednesday, you can see the best that you will get. It will start to get a little better for the south. And then when you get towards Thursday, it's going to look even way better. It's going to be short-lived, but enjoy it while you can. It's going to be pretty much Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Uh, Florida and South Carolina, Georgia, everybody on the very far southeast is going to hold on to the warmth the longest. Now, when you get towards Friday, Friday is going to be a good day, but this is when everything's going to start. This is when you have the pattern going to be moving in. It's going to pull. It's going to be a, a, a system that's going to form up. It's going to be a low pressure system form up, and it's going to be bringing rain on the east side, and it's going to be sucking down that cold air from the north, and it's going to be causing all the snowfall that we're going to be getting soon. I will show you that in just a minute. And then as you get in towards Saturday, now see Saturday, you can see it starts to move in. You got a, you got a deep trough and a high ridge, and that's going to bring the cold weather to the Midwest, the Central U.S. But the warm weather, it's helping with the warm weather and weather in the Southeast because of that high ridge. So it's pulling the cold air up and away, and it's pulling the warm, warm uh, weather from the Gulf up towards the U.S. So y'all going to be enjoying this warm weather all the way until Saturday. But once we get past Saturday and we get into Sunday, like I said, uh, the very far southeast is going to be holding on to the warmth at the last minute. But as you can see, it gets, starts getting very cold. It gets all the way up into the 20s uh, up here in the Midwest and 30s for everybody else. But then when you get into Sunday, I'm sorry, Monday, this is the last of the warm temperatures that start slipping away at this point. Y'all going to be in the 60s. And they're actually going to be 10, 12, 15 degrees up here where the snowfall will be for the first snowfall. And then as you move in again and you go to Tuesday, you can see the temperatures. It just starts getting worse and worse. And it just stays cold for the southeast as well. So you're definitely not going to get away from it. But we have even colder temperatures that's going to be coming after the first snowfall. Now here's the 500 millibar height, so you can see exactly what's going on with these, what I call little fingers of cold air, because that's what they look like in Antarctica, little fingers of cold air coming down to the U.S. Now as it scoops along, you see the cold air with it, okay, everything's going to be uh, 26 degrees colder than it is before this hits, and you can see that when it actually goes by, it hits the leeward side of the mountains, it breaks up, and then it goes away. But that second system, you can see how much colder the second system is going to be. It is bringing 30-something degrees colder temperatures with it. And it's got an even deeper trough uh, that's going to be happening. So it, the south is going to be feeling some cold air for a while. It's not going to go away anytime soon. And it's just one after another at that point. Now, when you go towards the storm system, so we can see. Now, according to the Euro model, there's two different outcomes that we are showing. According to the Euro model, you will be getting some snowfall in the northeast in a couple of days. It's not going to be super heavy, but it will be some snow. But when the system moves along and he starts picking up his cyclonic vorticity, this is right here. It's when it's just starting. 
A lot of freezing rain for people, but you can see the snowfall that is moving in for the Midwest. Now, as it moves along, it's going to bring rain for the south, snow for the Midwest, and some snow in the northeast, but it's going to be variable. It's going to be freezing rain to a little bit of snowfall. It, it all depends. I mean, the GFS shows that a lot of that is going to be a lot of rain. But at the same time, you can see the storms that will be coming in the south and southeast from that ridge. Now, after we get past the first snowfall, there will be a little bit of a swath of snow that will be passing by. But there's going to be a second system. And the second system, on the, according to the Euro, shows that it, it, it forms late. And it actually does bring some snowfall to the northeast once again with a possible uh, nor'easter. But when you go to the GFS... GFS shows different snowfall amounts. It does show that there will be some snow for New York and a little bit of uh, northeast. It'd be a little swath of snow, maybe one to three inches. But then when the system moves through and the temperatures change, it does show the snowfall in the Midwest, but it brings the rain and the storms in the northeast, and it's not even showing any shot of chance of snow from the, this first one. Now, when the second one comes... The second one is a different story. The second one is picking it up though nice and early because it still has a deep trough in that high ridge and it's picking up a lot of uh, snowfall. And we're talking for Illinois, Indiana, Iowa, everybody. Look, it's going to be a lot of heavy snowfall. Look at this. Look, for, look at Indiana. There's going to be some heavy snowfall coming with this second storm. And then it's going to move to the northeast and it's going to drop snow in the northeast as well. Uh, the question is, is the temperatures going to hold for the northeast so it can get any more of the snow? But as it passes by, it's going to be very heavy snow for northern Illinois, Iowa, Indiana, and Wisconsin. Because as it goes by, it's going to be dropping snow. And then as it passes by, the west side is going to be still be sucking down that cold air. And it's going to be dumping more snow for Wisconsin, Illinois, as it goes by. Also, Indiana. So the second storm is going to be way worse than the first. Now, according to how much snowfall we're we going to be getting, uh, in the next couple of days, you will be getting, like I said, one to two inches, one to three inches for New York mostly uh, in the northeast. Then you'll start seeing some patchy snow coming from the west, going across the central U.S. It will be dropping up to nine inches, but some of this is in high elevations. It's mostly a three to five inch event. But in this purple, you'll see it is 6 to 7 inches, and then it grows all the way to 10 to 14 inches. This is uh, Iowa. This is northern Illinois, southern Wisconsin. You're going to be getting some snowfall. Also, Michigan, you're going to be getting some heavy snowfall up to 10 inches. But on that second storm, okay, because the first one only drops 3 to 5 in the northeast. But the second storm brings even more heavy snowfall, and it goes even further south. You can see you can get all the way up to one to three inches, all the way down towards Kentucky. You can even get some for West Virginia, three to four inches. But it's showing another 10 to possible 14 inches for the Northeast as well, plus 15 inches that's going to be dropping in the Midwest. So this second storm, I think, is going to be way worse than the first storm. The first storm is going to bring a lot of snowfall, but the second storm is going to bring more southern snowfall and it's going to bring heavier amounts of snowfall for the Midwest as well as the Northeast. But don't forget about them temperatures. South and Southeast, your temperatures will go away after Sunday. Really Saturday, but it's going to start squeezing towards Florida and South Carolina and Georgia on Sunday. So be aware, it's, it's going to be a flip-flop. It's going, to, it's going to be warm for a minute, but then it's going to drop down cold again. So God bless you all through this weather. Hope y'all have a great day for sure. Please hit that like button for me if this, if this video did help you in any way. Now yesterday we did Matthew 18. Today is Matthew 19. And it came to pass that when Jesus had finished these sayings, he departed from Galilee and came into the coast of Judea beyond Jordan. And great multitudes followed him and he healed them there. The Pharisees also came unto him, tempting him, and saying unto him, It is lawful for a man to put away his wife for every cause? And he answered and said unto them, Have ye not read that he which made them at the beginning made them male and female? And said, For this cause shall a man leave father and mother, and shall cleave to his wife, 
and they twain shall, shall become one flesh. Amen. Wherefore they are no more twain, but one flesh. What therefore God hath joined together, let not man put us under. They said unto him, they say unto him, Why did Moses then command to give a writing of divorcement and to put her away? He saith unto them, Moses, because of the hardness of your hearts, suffered you to put away your wives, but from the beginning it was not so. And I say unto you, Whosoever shall put away his wife, except it be for fornication, and shall marry another, committeth adultery. And whoso marrieth her which is put away, doeth commit adultery. His disciples say unto him, In the case of the man be so with his wife, it is not good to marry. But he said unto them, All men cannot receive this saying, save they, save, save they to whom it is given. For there are some eunuchs which were born, which were so born from their mother's womb, and there are some eunuchs which were made eunuchs of men, and there be eunuchs which have been themselves eunuchs for the kingdom of heaven's sake. He that is able to receive it, let him receive it. Then there were brought unto the little children that he, that he should put his hands on them and pray. And the disciples rebuked them. But Jesus said, Suffer little children and forbid them not to come unto me. For of such is the kingdom of heaven. And, is laid, and he laid his hands on them and departed thence. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one, that is God. But if thou wilt enter into life, keep his commandments. He saith unto him, Which, Jesus said, Thou shalt do no murder, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness. Honor thy father and thy mother, and thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. The young man saith unto him, All these things have I kept from, from my youth up. What lack I yet? Jesus said unto him, If thou wilt be perfect, go and sell that, that, that thou hast, and give to the poor, and thou shalt have treasure in heaven, and come and follow me. But when the young man heard that saying, he went away sorrowful, for he had great possessions. Then Jesus said unto his disciples, Verily I say unto you, that a rich man shall hardly enter into the kingdom of heaven. And again I say unto you, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of heaven. When his disciples heard it, they were exceedingly amazed, saying, Who then can be saved? But Jesus beheld them and said unto them, With men this is, this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. Then answered Peter and said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all and followed thee. What shall we have therefore? And Jesus said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the, in the regeneration when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, Ye also shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. And every one that hath forsaken houses, or brethren, or sisters, or father, or mother, or wife, or children, or lands, for my name's sake, shall receive in a hundredfold, and shall inherit everlasting life. But many that are first shall be last, and the last shall be first. Amen. I love that chapter. God bless you all today. Hope you all have a great day. Uh, prepare, please prepare. Get some clothes. And just remember that the first storm is going to be a little something, but that's really when the temperatures are really going to move in. Because this second snowstorm that we're going to be getting is going to be heavier snowfall. So south and southeast, you have a warm up, but it won't last past Sunday. Uh, really Monday at the very latest, but pretty much Sunday. So I hope you all have a blessed day today. I appreciate you all for tuning in this morning. All glory does go to God. Amen.